The modern Republican Party is known for its discipline, but that's giving away to some open public spats among its leaders, including a new one over CPAC, where Donald Trump will reappear, even though some leaders like Liz Cheney oppose him playing any role in the party. And that's led to this public split within with the top GOP leader, Kevin McCarthy. Yes, he should. Congresswoman Cheney? Uh, that's up to CPAC. I've, I've been clear in my views about uh, President Trump and, and the extent to which following, the extent to which following January 6th, uh, I, don't, I don't believe that he should be playing a role in the future of the party or the country. On that high note? <laughs> <laughs> McCarthy offering some sarcasm as he walked off there. He and Cheney are free to disagree on who should lead the party. But this is how democracy works. Republicans once debated if Jeb Bush could be the future of the party. Now McCarthy claims Cheney's view is itself an endorsement of cancel culture. The idea that a Republican would join with a cancel culture, I just think is wrong. It's beyond just having a difference of opinion. We are back with Professor of Politics and Journalism from Morgan State University, Jason Johnson. Uh, Jason, good to have you back, sir. Glad to be here. <laughs> when you look at when you look at uh, Kevin McCarthy, there, that there's many. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was going to say there's many things, but one is that whatever cancel culture means, uh, it's certainly a failing of the vocabulary test to try to claim that disagreeing about who should be the next nominee is canceling someone. There can be only one nominee by definition. Right, right. And, and, and here's the thing. I mean, I w when I saw that video initially, like I just wanted I wanted the camera to like focus in on Kevin McCarthy's face and like play the curb your enthusiasm music, because this is a guy who, you know, this is a guy who said that Donald Trump was a problem. He said that he it led to the insurrection and yep. the riots. And now he's saying, well, basically, I think Donald Trump should be here under all circumstances. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, Ari, for the Republican Party to not just wrap themselves in this argument of cancel culture, they literally canceled young Pharaoh, a highly mediocre rapper, from coming to CPAC, right? Republicans cancel people all the time. So they only seem to have a problem with cancel culture when it's one of their faves. Everybody else, they're perfectly fine with canceling whenever they want to. Yeah, and, and again, it's I get that these words get, just get thrown around, but to the extent that there is actual censorship or deplatforming, you can debate who merits that, right? And those debates, when done in good faith, are real. Um, Liz Cheney saying that she doesn't think Donald Trump should be the nominee next time, and someone of a different view or wing of the party is not that. Um, when you see them fighting this out, you also see that, uh, on the one hand, it's good that they can publicly disagree. I would say that for any party, uh, notwithstanding sort of his you know, whatever he was trying to do on Fox afterward. Um, but do you see as a political matter, being our political expert, do you see this as long term tenable for them uh, to keep having these public disagreements when they are both party leaders? There's only you know, there's hundreds of, of House members there in the top four. Yeah, Ari, because there's not that many Liz Cheney's. I mean, look, the vast majority of the party is with Kevin McCarthy. Even Kevin McCarthy wasn't with Kevin McCarthy two months ago. But the, the vast majority of the party is with Kevin McCarthy. You look at every single poll. Donald Trump leads the polling for 2024. You look at most of the Republicans, you know, the vast majority of Republicans didn't vote for him to be impeached. The Republican Party has attached themselves to Donald Trump, even though his actual electoral record isn't very good. So I personally am not overly convinced by these kinds of public spats with the Republican Party because I know where they lean. You can see a, 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 you can see a coach and a quarterback argue all they want. They're still going to be there in training camp, right? And that's what I see happening with the Republican Party right now. I don't think any of mm. us should be fooled into thinking that this is a real split because they're not going anywhere. Right. And as you say, Kevin McCarthy couldn't hold that line. There, there's been the shift. It'll be very interesting to chart uh, what, what Congresswoman Cheney does with her leadership post uh, as long as, as they're standing by her. Uh, Jason Johnson, good to have you, sir.